Hello and a very warm welcome. I know you had been waiting for this video. So here I am finally to talk about order bump version 1.7. Well, so before we begin, uh, I've got a free gift for you. So this is the order bump cheat sheet. So it's actually for, for, for to thank you for taking out time from your busy schedule. I know that you can be very busy. So thank you for coming over. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Now, whether you have order bumps or not, you can use this cheat sheet to get ideas. You can see what's working for others. You can see what's proven. And then, of course, put those insights into your business and make your bumps convert higher. And if you do not have bumps yet, well, use this cheat sheet to uh, get some ideas for your order bumps. So with that out of the way, let's just do a quick primer. Order bumps are pre-checkout offers, obviously on the checkout page. The user can simply check the box here and the item gets added to their order with just a single click and then they can click on place order or proceed to make the payment. So uh, order bumps by Move Funnels is actually the only solution which offers you the rule builder or the ability to make smart decisions based on buyer insights. What category they are buying from, what item they are buying, what item they are not buying, um, what is their uh, based on what is their order total. So whether it's above fifty dollars or say below fifty dollars, what's their shipping and billing country, where, so on and so forth. So you've got all these different um, you know rules that you can set up uh, to uh, trigger the order bump, to show the order bump on the checkout page. And of course, it also allows you to set up exclusive discounts. So if a user lands on the product page of the, pro of the item that you're selling as an order bump, they will not see the discount over there. It's only here in the bump section that you can set up the discount for uh, that product. So this gives you the ability to say that this discount is exclusive. It's only available right here and right now. In one of our recent updates, we also gave you the ability to alter the position of order bumps on your checkout page. Well, so you can have it above the order summary, below the order summary, above or below the payment gateways. So with that out of the way, what's new in the new in, in the latest version in version 1.7? Well, I will tell you what that is. But in order for you to understand, let's first understand how things currently work. So if you want to track your order bumps, if you want to see, uh, you know, uh, sort of what uh, what have you made because of your order bumps, what money you've made, you actually have to go into WooCommerce reports and further into the orders and you can find it in line. So like in this case, this is the order and this is uh, $33 is the total and the bumps contribution is $30. So you can check it in line. But if you really want to see stats at the end of the week or a month uh, to see how your bumps have performed or how, how different bumps have performed, there really wasn't a way. And therefore, a lot of you spoke to us, a lot of you told us what you wanted. So for example, here's an email that we got from one of um, one of the average users of order bump and she says that, you know, although I love arrow checkout and order bump, I feel that report is uh, missing. Uh, how many order bumps were taken versus not taken? For example, if someone buys my course and I have an order bump set up, how many of the people who purchased the course actually ended up taking the order bump too? So she says that she was able to figure it out manually for a promotion where the bump converted at 50%, but on a daily basis, it's really hard to find out the right order, do the math and see what's working, what's not. So if there is a way to show up stats, it would be awesome. Well, you said it, we listened. So that's what you get, order bump stats. Well, now I'm going to hop on behind the scenes and show you how stats work, what the interface looks like. All right, so before I take you behind the scenes and show you the re new reporting feature, which has been added into order bumps, well, let me quickly show you some of the UX changes that we have now made to the plugin. So, well, that's the new UX. So when you go and add new, uh, you will be able to enter the name of your order bump. So yeah, let it be anything, new bump. And then you click on create. 
So this is it. Now, uh, well, there are just two major changes, or I wouldn't even say major because they're actually very min minimalist changes that have now happened. Uh, so they do not interfere uh, with uh, uh, with any of the functional uh, functionalities of order bumps as such, but they're very visual in nature. So um, here, what has happened is that, uh, you know, Previously, rules, products, design, and settings were stacked up uh, vertically, but now they are stacked up horizontally. So you will just see a horizontal bar here uh, where you have all uh, the different uh, parameters for setting up your order bump. Secondly, uh, everything is now within the WordPress interface. So uh, we're not really you know, moving out of it and launching a new interface. Everything is here consolidated within the WordPress interface. The dashboard is there, the top bar is there, so on and so forth. And we've actually taken these uh, UX decisions, um, you know, keeping in mind some of the new products uh, that we will be launching and uh, so that everything uh, stays consistent. And of course, we will also be rolling out uh, these uh, subtle design changes in our other products as well. All right, now let's move on to the meat of this update, which is uh, the reporting. All right, so we're going to go into WooCommerce reports. And there you go. So this is the new tab which has been introduced. It's the order bump tab, uh, which allows you to see uh, your order bumps. So you can just go and click on, uh, uh, you know, you can select the time period um, that you want by filling out the dates in the custom uh, section over here. You can select this month, last seven days, so on and so forth. And you can do a proper tracking to see, uh, you know, how many orders uh, were, how many order bumps were accepted, how many total orders were placed with the bump offers and then how many of the bumps were accepted, how many of the bumps were rejected and what has been your overall conversion rate in this period. So this is for the, your entire cluster of bumps, this conversion rate. It's an average conversion rate for all the order bumps that you have set up. Well, now, of course, uh, you know, there, there could be a case where you have multiple order bumps in a, your uh, store. So, uh, you, uh, you know, you are using the smart um, uh, rule builder and um, you know, you have bump uh, by category, uh, you have bump by products, maybe by order total too. Uh, and uh, so, so many different parameters, so many different conditions exist. So in that case, if you want to see how different bumps are performing, you can go on sales by bump. And there you go. So here you've got all your bumps listed right here and you will be able to see, uh, you know, how many orders have you got, how many, uh, how many have been accepted. So, uh, you know, how many total orders have been placed, uh, for the products with which this bump was associated and how many bump offers were accepted, how many of those were rejected, uh, what has been your total revenue because of the specific bump and of course uh, your conversion rate. So this is such a great way to track what is really working, what is not working. So the idea is that you can take back those insights and then work on your bump. Uh, you know, there could be a few ways that you could actually improve your order bump. Maybe you've got to rewrite the copy. Uh, maybe it's the image. Maybe it's the price point. Maybe it's the discount. Maybe it's the heading. Um, you know, maybe it's the position of the order bump. So there could be several reasons. So you can go and um, you know, sort of incorporate, uh, you know, you can make some changes and then put them to test again and see how different bumps are performing. The next update is uh, the quantity incrementer. Let me show you how that works. All right, so let's just quickly add rules. Uh, so, um, all right, so we're going to show the bump always. Let's go into the product section. So here we've got this product and uh, uh, yep. So let's just save this product. Now we're going to go into design. So there you go. So, well, some basic description. So this product actually doesn't have any description, which is why you do not see a description here right now. So I'm just going to say, hey, uh, just simply it's fun. It's a great product and you should definitely buy now. All right. So now here's the next thing that I'm going to do. So I'm going to pick up this merge tag for quality incrementer. So the idea is uh, that people will now be able to uh, 
increment the quantity so they can add two of those so let's say you're selling some caps or t-shirts or whatever uh, where people can add two of those uh, to their order so that's another great news for you which means that you can actually increase your average order value even further uh, by letting people add more than one to their order all right so there you go so that's the quantity incrementer right here and uh, well, but what you can see is that, uh, you know, it's not presented very well. So it's right next to the sentence, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the description written here. And of course, it's not presented very well. So here I've got a hack for you. Uh, what you can do is that you can use these tags. So that's BR space BR and then uh, quantity and then an and non breaking space colon with the merge code uh, with the merge tag here. So you can use this little piece of code. I will also paste this in the description below and then you can save design. Yep, there you go. Look at that. It looks beautiful. So it's, it's just come right here. There's, it, you know, just taken a separate space. It's uh, really nicely presented and uh, sort of looks beautiful. Another merge tag that we've introduced is the variation attribute HTML. So, uh, well, you can just copy this and again, let's just paste this here and save the design. So when, so this is for variable product. When a person selects their uh, chosen variation, it just lets them, it just lets them see what variation they have uh, selected. And then, of course, they can change the quantity from here. And, uh, you know, the total will get instantly uh, updated. And over here as well, the right amount will show up. So, well, that is what it is. Um, uh, so that's the variation merge tag and that's the quantity incrementer merge tag in action. All right. So that was it. I really hope that you enjoyed watching the video as much as I did. Uh, thank you so much for joining the group, coming over. And of course, don't forget to take your free gift, which is the order bump cheat sheet. So just as a quick recap, uh, we looked at the new interface of order bumps, which we've rolled out for you. Uh, secondly, we looked at order bump stats, a feature that you absolutely wanted and need uh, to make your order bumps work harder for you. Uh, then we looked at quantity incrementer, which will allow you to increase your average order value even further. And then, of course, the variation merge tag. There are more subtle under the hood changes that have happened. Uh, but of course, they are beyond the scope of this video. I will be sharing more details about them with you. Um, but these were the major ones that you need to know right now. So that was order bump version 1.7. Please let me know what you think about it, um, whether what you wanted has been rolled out or not. Uh, do leave a comment and please share your thoughts with me. Thank you so much once again for taking time out and tuning in. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.